everything passed by so fast. The festival had come and gone. Knowing the finals were to begin and everything was ready. Pots of sand were all around the stadium and on the streets for Gara to use. In the stands were the ninja of the Whirlpool Village acting like normal villagers. Zabuza was there protected under the agreement with the Hokage and he was one of Naruto's strongest ninja. Soon the battle would begin, but the real question was, could they stop it? Naruto, Shisui said. Arriving at the stadium where Naruto and the other Genin were waiting. I wish you luck out there. Shisui, Naruto said. Weren't you to wait in the village? I couldn't just stand by, Shisui said. Shisui, Sasuke asked. Is that you? Sasuke, Shisui said. Yeah, it's me. How are you and Itachi? We're fine, Itachi said, walking out of the shadows, dressed in Anbu clothing. How have you been, Shisui? Still running from that fool, Donzo? Not really, Shisui laughed. Shisui, Naruto said to Shisui in his mind. I'm using Hera's mind abilities to speak with you. He wanted to ask me if Itachi could be told of the coming attack. Yeah, Shisui said. We know it's that snake, Orochimaru, so I wanted his help in ending the threat. Very well, Naruto said, ending their conversation. Hey, Itachi, Shisui said. Why don't we get dumplings and talk about something very important? Did you say dumplings? Itachi asked, eyes wide. So you heard dumplings and the very important stuff went right out the other ear. Shisui sighed. <laughs> I guess I'll never change. Shut up, Itachi said, like dumplings. First fight, the announcer called. Shikamaru versus Tamaru. Ship it, Ro said. Again with the shipping? Fang asked. You got a problem with my ships? Rose asked. This is real life, Rose, Fang said. Not some anime. You can't just go shipping everyone. I'd keep my mouth shut if I were you, Fang. Naruto said. I've learned that shippers are very protective of their ships. How so? Fang asked. Believe me, Naruto said shivering. I know. Okay, Fang said. Whatever you mean by that. Hours went by and matches with them. Finally, the last two matches had arrived. Naruto's last match had been against Neji Hyuga. After the fight, Naruto had convinced Neji, who hated the main family, including Hinata, that he could change the Hyuga clan. Now, in the finals, it was Sasuke versus Gara, and Naruto versus Hinata. It didn't surprise Naruto when Gara's match ended with Gara as the winner. But something was off. Gara. Naruto said as they were switching places to fight. Didn't Orochimaru plan to attack during your fight with Sasuke? He was meant to, Gara said. But I think he's waiting for me to lose control over Shikaku in my fight. I see, Naruto said. You had the same idea in mind? Lure them out thinking I lost it, Gara asked. Yep, Naruto nodded. Now, it's time to end the last fight. Naruto got onto the field only to be booed by the crowd. All except those from the Whirlpool Village who cheered him on. Even though most of the crowd was booing, the cheers of the Whirlpool Ninja drowned them out. Naruto smiled and Hinata who smiled back. She herself and Naruto were both surprised she made it this far. Naruto knew she was strong, but though she would give up due to her shyness. Only, it all seemed to be gone. We will now begin the final match of the semifinals, the instructor said. Naruto Uzumaki versus Hinata Hyuga. Wait, Hinata said. I forfeit the match to Naruto Uzumaki. This shocked the crowd, and even made some boo Hinata. Naruto glared at them with eyes of a killer animal shutting them up. Are you sure? The instructor asked. 
you made it to the semifinals. And if you do this, your clan will be very angry. I've never been so sure about anything in my life. Not to said, managing not to stutter. Plus, only the main family will be angry. And I've always wanted to say this, the main branch can go suck it. Anyone who wasn't a Hyuga main branch member nearly peed themselves laughing. Even the branch members laughed. Those who were present of the main family looked embarrassed and cast their eyes of hate on Hinata, only to see Naruto's. It was clear the warning in them. Touch her, and your clan's pride and honor will be the least of your problems. Very well, the instructor said. The next match is Naruto of the Whirlpool versus Gara of the Sand. Hinata waved goodbye to Naruto and switched out with Gara. Naruto watched Hinata leave and had Fang and Rose go with her. No doubt she made a lot of enemies with what she just did. Now, Naruto looked at Gara, who gave a small nod. The plan was to make it look as if Gara was losing and then go into a rage with Shikaku. Once the match began, they ran at one another. Naruto pulled out his red hilted katana and swung at Gara. It was blocked by a sand. But then, Gara made it look as if he cut through the sand, pushing him back. To make it more convincing, Gara yelled and snarled when Naruto cut his cheek. After a few minutes of fake fighting, it was time. Gara put a face of killer instinct and began to transform into tailed beast mode, which he could freely use. To anyone other than those who knew, it looked as though Gara was losing it. Suddenly, Naruto noticed a genjutsu began to fall on the stadium. The enemy was making their move. The genjutsu was to put people to sleep. Anyone who could tell the genjutsu was cast, released it before it could put them to sleep. Not many leaf ninja did this, but all the whirlpool ninja acting like citizens did. The sand and sound ninja began trying to attack everyone, but stopped as sand began moving from all directions. Foolish mice, Gara laughed. You've fallen for our trap. The sand encased the ninja, stopping them from hurting anyone. Gara wasn't going to kill the sand ninja, only drag them back to the sand village after the battle. The sound ninja, however, weren't so lucky. Gara had wide control over his sand. Even the sand ninja outside in the village got trapped in the sand. Now, it was the sound versus the leaf in the whirlpool. The battle was over before it even began. Naruto noticed the Hokage in hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Kazekage, who was really Orochimaru. That was Orochimaru's real goal, to kill the Hokage. Naruto noticed four sound ninja surround them. All of a sudden, a barrier was placed around them. He needed to bring that barrier down. Naruto bypassed any ninja in his way until he got to the roof, where the Hokage was fighting. He pulled out his katana and placed it on the throat of a fat sound ninja. All he needed to do was disturb one of the ninja to end the jutsu. He couldn't help himself, but instead of killing the man, Naruto pushed him over making him roll off the roof. The jutsu was broken. Rushing to the Hokage's aid, Naruto stood ready. Across from him was a man with pale skin, long black hair, and snake-like eyes. It was the rogue ninja and former student of the Hokage, Orochimaru. The battle for Konoha had truly begun.